Hello and welcome to the video. This video is to take a look at these things here. These are some of the latest motors from Emacs. These are actually the Race Spec 2s. These are 2306 1600 kV motors. And some of you are probably looking at these thinking, why on earth have you gone for 1600 kV? And the reason is, is that this will eventually become the first video in the next build that I'm doing. Now I've already done a build series that's just coming to the end, a build series eight, and that was using pretty standard stuff. In the end, we actually had to swap the motors out halfway through that build. For those of you that have been watching, you'll remember that. And for the next build, I want to go back to the original intention for the build that we did in series eight and actually build an endurance quad. Now, if I go back to the very early days of quad building, we were building things on DJI flame wheels, uh, using multi-wee, using what were then modified motors from planes, typically running seven by 4.5 inch props. And in fact, if I grab one of my very old quads here, this is the original quad I ordered from Armatan that started all of this, you can see here that we're running big props. And the really nice thing about this is that the batteries lasted a blooming long time because lower KVs with bigger props give you an awful lot more efficiency. And I do feel that these days we have kind of neglected that part of the hobby. So these days it's either all about flying a billion miles an hour and your battery lasting five minutes, or if you want a camera ship or something that's going to fly for a decent amount of time, then you go and buy a DJI Phantom. And you're hard pressed if you come on YouTube to find a build that's actually going to try and fit into a reasonable size chassis, a really economical setup that's very efficient and will fly for a longer period of time. In fact, yesterday I was flying with my little ZOHD Dart. Uh, go and have a look at the review of that. I'm a big fan of the ZOHD Dart. I love it. And it can fly for the best part of 25 minutes on an 850 battery. And I was having a beautiful time just flying around, looking at the landscape. And I realized that I've really missed that ability in a quad that will fit in a backpack. So that's what Series 9 is going to be around. And that's why I'm looking at these motors. So let me very quickly take you through these Emacs motors. Uh, these are the race spec. You'll notice that the boxes for these things are very different from the old boxes. If you remember the original boxes, there were these beautiful plastic boxes that had everything in. Um, I've got loads of those kicking around because they're great to keep spares in. But this new format is using this kind of foam double enclosure. And as I pop the motor out, you can see how beautifully pretty these things are. They are red bottom, I guess, because the bottom part is red. And again, you know, there's loads of videos kicking around. I've used red bottom Emacs motors on loads of stuff. I've always been a fan of the Emacs stuff. So I'm fascinated to see how these are actually going to work. It's a hollow titanium shaft. It's a very lightweight bell and it's using arc magnets with a single wind. And if I put a couple of close-ups in here, you can see how beautifully wound it is. It actually looks like someone's taken a bit of time and effort over this. So I've got four of these motors. Um, I'm going to get some others as, in as well. I actually ordered some Eoshin ones. Uh, and when we start doing the build, I'll decide which ones I want to use. But I just wanted to show you these so you can see what I'm getting in. And also share my thoughts about building more of an endurance style quad with all the other quad builds that I've done on the channel being very much about standard 5 inch race style quads. So please do leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the idea. I'm also looking for a nice frame that's going to have 7 or 8 inch arms. At the moment the only one that I can think of that will do the job for the build is going to be the ether frame. Again that's a frame we looked at a couple of builds ago. The ether frame is beautiful and there is an 8 inch arm option and I've got those arms here but I'm just wondering if any of you out there have experience of a frame that has a 7 or 8 inch arm that also could be used for this build. So stay with me. Again, links are in the description for these particular motors. As I get the other parts and pieces in, I'll kind of share what I'm doing. And then we can actually see if we can build a modern quadcopter with modern components and get nice, decent flight times. So it doesn't mean that you have to land after seven minutes. If you found that video useful or like the content, then please hit the like and subscribe button down below. If you want to go the extra step, you can become a Patreon of the Painless360 channel and help provide support for what I do here.
All the videos created here are put into playlists. So if you're interested in a particular topic, have a look at the playlist and they all are organized in there to make them easier to use. If you're not sure if there's a video for your particular problem or topic you want to know more about, then add Painless360 to the Google search term that you're interested in, and that should find the video, article, or content about the particular thing that you're interested in having a look at.